हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज विभूषण मुखर्जी मैं एक थर्ड ईयर का स्टूडेंट हूँ जादवपुर यूनिवर्सिटी का आज हमारे साथ है एक अमेजिंग पर्सनालिटी हिज नेम इज सोविक चौधरी मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट 2024 पास आउट बैच ही विल शेयर हिज जर्नी अमेजिंग जर्नी टू क्रैक अ सॉफ्टवेयर कंपनी फ्रॉम ए कोर ब्रांच लाइक मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग एंड ही विल ऑल्सो शेयर इज इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस एंड ऑल्सो गाइड द जूनियर्स how to do coding and pursue your career in software field so stay tuned hello everyone i am savik chaudhary and a brief introduction about myself i have done my bachelor's in mechanical engineering from jagatpur university apart from that i am also pursuing a bachelor's in data science from iit madras online degree and Uh, so from the first year of my college itself i was motivated enough to get into the software space despite of being in a core branch now a question might arise why did i choose mechanical engineering in the first place then? so uh, going back four years i got a vpg rank of 1200 and uh, i cleared ch advanced but uh, my rank was not good enough to get into the iits so, so kind of jadavpur university was the best choice for me that then So starting with my coding journey before coming to Jadavpur University also in my class 11 12 I had uh, computer science subject which uh, had C++ language so kind of that provided a foundation for me but don't get demotivated if you don't have computer science in your class 11 12 uh, the four years of btech are more than enough to get really really good at coding so uh, after I got into Jadavpur University there is a very commonly asked question especially for uh, those who are not in circuital branches uh, so the ask, uh, the question is that is it possible to manage core studies along with coding so uh, yes core departments like mechanical engineering and other departments also are a bit hit and there is almost nothing in common with software placements as such so we need to balance both now mostly what students do is uh, everybody doesn't study the entire semester mostly students study a week or so before the semester exams so the most effective way which mostly students do is uh, they reduce the frequency or the re- they reduce the time they spend in coding uh, before the semester one week or so and again resume after the semester is over kind of this is the most effective way to get a good cgpa in your semester exams also and uh, continue coding so specifically uh, talking about my experience in college uh, from the very first year of my college i started coding and now in the first year mostly i focused on learning data structures and algorithm practicing them on Uh, lead code and i also started completely programming in code chef and code forces now uh, almost at the end of uh, first year and the beginning of second year i also started development i started web development initially then i uh, got an internship at a startup uh, there my role was to make mobile applications so there i learned that skill and after that internship i Uh, started freelancing and i freelanced for more than a year but i made multiple application for the clients mobile applications android and ios basically so this was my journey before the placement season so uh, starting with the placement season now uh, in placement season what happens basically is uh, once you get placed in a company you are not allowed to sit for any other company till a certain placement percentage is achieved in your uh, branch let's say 70 80% for just a rough estimate uh now in my case i applied for four companies kapchak was the fourth company i applied for and i got placed there before that i applied to oracle idfc first bank and bnmi mellon in uh, oracle there was a dsa question one rest api question and a few computer science fundamentals uh, mcq in the online assessment and ITS uh, BNY Mellon uh, there were four TSA questions and in IDFC uh, IDFC first bank 
there uh, it was kind of an aptitude round because uh, IDFC First Bank's role was of a data analyst and not a software engineer. In case of Gapshap, the uh, on online assessment consisted of one question. It was not a typical data structure algorithm question, rather than it was an implementation type. Uh, so moving on to the next rounds, there were three uh, uh, interview, uh, the technical interview and one HR interview. Yes, in the online assessment, uh, there are four test cases. And if uh, uh, the students who passed three or four test cases were allowed to sit for the uh, next rounds. Now, in the three technical interview rounds, in the first and second round, I was mostly asked DSA, some puzzles, uh, and a few questions from data, computer science fundamentals, mostly from OOPS. In the third round, third round was completely of uh, computer science fundamentals. Mostly, I was asked questions from DBMS about isolation, about uh, other asset properties, and etc. Basic DS, uh, DBMS questions and questions from OOPS. The HR round was uh, pretty a conversational kind of a round, and no direct questions were asked. Uh, so this was uh, regarding the on-campus placement journey. Uh, so what to prepare for getting a software placement? So getting for getting a software placement, mostly you need four things in your bucket. First is you need to have a strong hold over data structures and algorithm. This is the most fundamental and basic thing. You cannot miss this. Second is you should have one to two projects for internship season and two to three for uh, placement season. Third is computer science fundamentals. Many uh, people miss this, many people neglect this, but uh, trust me, computer science fundamentals are very, very important from the interview perspective. Uh, in computer science fundamentals, mostly object oriented programming, operating system, DBMS, and SQL are the most important. You cannot miss this. Computer networks are optional because computer networks are only some companies ask computer networks, not all. So if you have time, then you can go deep into it. Otherwise, you can touch it. The fourth thing is system design. A few years back, system design was not generally asked in the Frisha interviews, but nowadays we can see that uh, more and more companies are asking system design in their interviews. Even some companies are asking system design in their inter internship interview rounds. Uh, so, uh, if you don't have time, then also just have at least have a basic knowledge of system design. Now, uh, if you are in your first or second year of college, then you have a plenty of time left. Then you can try computer programming. Uh, computer programming uh, helps increase your thinking skills and helps in your uh, online assessment rounds. And also, if you have good CP ratings in Code Forces, Code Trev, etc., then it uh, adds credibility to your uh, resume and it helps in getting referrals off campus. And But if you are in your third or fourth year and you don't have all ready done competitive programming then i would not recommend it to you because it takes time rather uh, at this point of time in third or fourth year uh, lead coding and solving proper tsa questions which are asked in the interviews and online assessment rounds are more important so um, regarding the projects there's a very uh, common question that uh, what projects to make and uh, which tech stacks to pick. So uh, what I would recommend is uh, if you are making three projects uh, in your uh, keeping three projects in your resume, then at least keep one full stack project which has a proper front end and back end. This will broaden your horizon and you will be eligible for most of the companies, be it front end role, be it general ST or a back end role, then you will be eligible for all of these. And uh, regarding the tech stack, pick any front end, pick any back end tech stack 
doesn't matter that much and nowadays uh, many companies are also hiring for software tester roles so you can also write tests for your apis uh, using unit tests integration tests etc if you want to get edge uh, in uh, these software tester roles now uh, regarding the other two projects you, in the other two projects you can uh, uh, explore other horizon other uh, domains like machine learning like uh, blockchain or you can also stick to uh, full stack code now lastly a very jadavpur university specific question if you are planning to uh, join jadavpur university and you are getting a seat in the top five top five branches uh, like computer science it electronics instrumentation and electrical engineering then most of the companies most of the software companies are going to allow you to sit for the placement right so no problem for these guys but if you are not getting a seat in these five branches then you are mostly left with the core branches like mechanical civil chemical metallurgy power etc so uh, in the among the rest branch rest of the branches uh some companies like wells fargo previous year amazon did allow power engineering but did not allow the other four branches like mechanical chemical civil etc so uh some companies extra might allow you uh if you are from power engineering uh compared to the other four branches so here power engineering has an advantage uh now uh, in jadavpur university what happens is uh, before the internship and placement season a screening test is held for all the students who are not from computer science and it uh, branches uh, and if you are from core branches uh, and if you get a good rank in these screening tests then some com- uh, some companies who are not allowing core uh, branches to sit for may specially allow you to sit Okay, so if you are from four branches, make sure that uh, you prepare well for the screening test and get a good hand there. And honestly speaking, uh, it's not that tough. And so yes, uh, which branch to choose uh, if you don't get the top five branches? So uh, one one point is that power engineering has some added advantage and. apart from that basically all the other branches are similar means no branch has a edge over the other uh, when it comes to the software placement so pick the branch if you are sure that you want to go to software domain then pick the branch which is having least number of theory subjects in the curriculum like mechanical engineering civil engineering etc these have mm, higher number of uh, theory papers so you need to study a lot more in these uh, branches so taking these branches will not be a wise option uh, take the branches which have uh, a lesser study time. so this is it from my side thank you everyone and If you have some questions, comment it down below. I will answer it to my best of my knowledge. Thank you.